Did you know that over 16 million pounds of trash are disposed into the wild every single year? This man is responsible for half of that, and it'd be more if he didn't burn all his old jerry cans. The man who confuses up with down, push with pull, and anyone's yard is free parking. The same man who urinates outdoors more frequently than any other mammal. Here he is, your hero, my uncle, Red Green! For uh, those of you that don't know, this here's my nephew Harold. He's my uh, brother's son. Emphasis on brothers. But he's also a little fancy with the technology. Uh -huh. Very big week up at the lodge this week. Uh, so Junior Singleton's uh, great aunt bought herself one of those electric scooters and decided to take it out to the skate park for a rep. And well, long story short, she's, he's getting a bit of an inheritance. Uh, he was hoping for lots of money, but all he got was a history book on ancient Mesopotamia. Well, anyway, he's been reading that history book and uh, decided to try out their new, their, uh, they have these uh, above ground raids that take away all the sewage and stuff. And well, he thought he'd try that out for his uh, new outhouse that he's building. But the um, only problem is there's one thing in uh, Canada that we have that uh, he didn't count on that they don't have. Well, we, Ancient Mesopotamia. Oh! Oh! Single player healthcare? Uh, no, it's actually beavers. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, beavers down the thing up, and uh, Stinky Peterson was in there uh, christening the thing on an extended go and started floating and had to swim out. Uh, it actually masked his odor a bit, but uh, anyway, we gotta get rid of those things because we can't have them around. We, so, we enlisted Edgar to help us. Uh, blow the thing, but um, he seems to be more interested in farming at the moment, keeps buying fertilizer and diesel fuel. Wait a minute, Uncle Red. Isn't that harmful for the environment? Shut up, Harold. The only thing harmful for the environment around here is your lux. <laughs> so, anyway, we gotta deal with those beavers and uh, we're gonna figure that out and uh, catch you later. We are here at the dam, the dam we were supposed to blow up last year, it's raining, but we're still going through with it anyway. Right now I'm shaking up our new explosive compound. We have three pounds instead of one this time, and instead of Tannerite it is Thundershot. You been Thundershot. Oh! It didn't do much, did it? You got it, but it didn't, uh... It, did, it didn't really change anything. No, that didn't do much. So we've, um, taken apart the dam a bit. We're set up with guns, um, waiting for the beavers to show up. And future Fletcher, if you're wondering where you are right now... You, sick. You wanted to come, even though you're sick, but your mother said no. Tim peed himself. And it's 10.30, yes. so. We suck at beaver hunting. I had Tim, it's really full. It's soaking wet with his own urine. If you eat some cheese when the mother guys are trying to make you become a vegan. If you haven't noticed, Fletcher's here today. I've got a fever of 103! Well, I'm coming beaver hunting, baby! So these two gents have been taking apart the dam. I've been scouting out how to tactically set up lights and pop some beavers. And while I was doing that, there was a splash near one of the dens. So I'm going to sit there while they do this and uh, if I have any luck, you will see it.
just fired at a beaver, but I don't see any blood. Obviously, the water's murky, so it's tough to tell. Tim got one in his trap. Let's go. Hey guys. Here, I'll give you some light. Cute guy, me here. Many people ask me, how do you maintain such an attractive figure while eating whatever you want? And what I tell them is... <laughs> You're not even in focus, dog. And... Should I restart the interview? No. We are done the interview. What? You know you can flip the thing around so you can... Daniel smells right? bad. He reeks of beef and cheese. Tim and I dug a hole in their dam. And you know what the beaver said? He didn't say anything. He's a beaver. I think this is goodbye. Uh, here comes Smelly Dan again. <laughs> ah! That was tiny. I saw it. But I was like, what? All of a sudden I heard a gun. We think we may have just got a muskrat. So there was a splash by the dam. Change of plans. Tim is going to stay here while Fletcher and I go towards the dam. Okay, Tim has just fired a shot from his post. Pickaroon! We're going! Okay, do you see that thing that's bobbing in and out of the water? Yeah, that's him. But that's not gonna be enough, is it? I think we may have to go around. Gotta find a way around. Why did the Tim cross the creek? To Tim. get to the beaver. To get to the beaver. The Tim's got the spotlight. Tim, don't you dare fall in. <gasps> Tim! No! Timothy. Now Tim's gonna fall in and we lost the beaver. Oh man. Well, successful night. Two beavers and one muskrat. One in the trap, two in the water. Two still in the water because their bodies were never recovered. Well, we got one beaver. In the trap. Success. Bye. Bye. We're going on a cool adventure and, and we, we don't, don't know what's in store. store. We're coming from the closet and we're headed, headed out, out the, the door. door. Well, we are um, scoping out a uh, location for tomorrow. This is where we're gonna blow up the big stuffs. And tonight we're just gonna be shooting some things. And uh, this is just our uh, recon mission, whatever you call our, we're just checking it this out pretty much. Intel. We're just, Intel we're just checking it out. We have come across a whirlpool. Come on. Uh. Hello? Uh, uh, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Oh, look at oh, him. Look at it down there. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so He's cool. getting royally what? flushed. Back out. That is... That was pretty lit. That was so much fun to watch. <laughs> we're closing out our recon mission with just setting a few traps and deciding what we're doing for this evening. And we're getting ready to shoot ourselves a beaver, but, well, let's just say a series of unfortunate events have led to us dropping the lid for the gas into the gas. Well, we tried getting the thing out of the gas, but to no avail. Technical term. Thing. So we are here and we are ready. This is a trap we set like maybe an hour and a half ago. Oh, I see the trap. Oh, There's a bee yeah, he's there. right here. <laughs> he be dead. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful weather. Here together. Here you go. Wah. <laughs> I, I really panicked because I thought you said it right on the camera. <laughs> and then I remembered the camera's in my hand. I was about to really give you a new one. <laughs> Yeah. 
We've really got the dam flowing pretty good now. Quite good, actually. So we're gonna go get set up in front of the lodge way down there. We are in position. Take a look at Tim's camouflage so that they don't see him. <laughs> Not that. There was a big beaver. I know you got him. I know for a fact you got him. Here. Here. We missed the first beaver, but we definitely got the second one. Is for sure dead, but we couldn't get the body. We are done for the day. Back again tomorrow. What the heck? Wait, hold up. Day four. Earlier today, we, um, we spent a bunch of time working on clearing out the trail towards the pond, working hard clearing trees and stumps and sticks and stuff. And, but before we did that, feels like you, it looks like you have something. Yes, let's go, let's go. Also, for the clip not found where where Tim shot the beaver, we did capture it on film, but afterwards, I hit the camera with my paddle and we actually lost the end of that clip. So we completely missed it. Trap checking, same one as yesterday. It's empty. And it's a, beaver. a big beaver again. I think so. That's why I said that might be hippo from yesterday. That's... Wow. Big ol' boy. Okay, so here's the plan. The gents are on their way to dismantle another dam. I have been dropped off here with a gun in anticipation for what may arrive. A little explanation as to why I didn't shoot just now. I saw this beaver coming, so I got myself set up. The deal was I'm only going to shoot if he's on shore and I have a clear shot of him. So he was just barely on shore. So I was just setting up the camera. I was like, you know what, let's see if he goes a little further up, get the camera set up. Then he sunk into the water and then he unfortunately went too far to my left, which is where Tim and Fletcher are, so there's no chance of shooting him there. So, he got up on shore and then he started coming right at me. I'm in like a little cove where the beavers like to travel, it's all worn down. And uh, I was like, oh boy, he's gonna come right here because he, he never saw me, I don't think. So I set up the camera and uh, swam right in front of me. I don't know if he did see me because he didn't splash, but he went right by me and then left as quick as he had come and I couldn't shoot him when he was right in front of me because he would have sank to the bottom and it it is actually pretty deep right in front of me here so uh, in hindsight I might have popped him right at the start there but either way it was fun to watch the rain has begun and our time is soon done it's, uh, we're losing visibility very quick here. A beaver going around the corner, but he's well out of my, well, my, out of my sights. I think it's the same one as before. Where'd he go? I lost him. We're done 
for the day. We, I may have shot one, but we never found the body again. But we don't really know. Ha, 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 ha. 